It's food pantry day. Let's check on this mini fridge. All right, we got a few items in here, but we got plenty of room to go to the food pantry and stock up on some food. So let's head on out and see what we can find and fill up this mini fridge. Going to the food pantry. I wonder what we'll find today. Let's head on out. Oh, it's cold, I need a jacket. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel for this week's Food Pantry Haul. It means a lot to me when you subscribe, so if you're a new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. And to all of the returning subscribers, welcome back. Let's get into the Food Pantry Haul. It should be a lot of fun. Pick these shoes off. Slippers. First up, let's take a look at the meats and please stay tuned for the score of the week under the little yellow towel. We have got one pound of 80-20 ground beef. Look at that little cow on the front, that's cute. That's really frozen. We're gonna have to thaw this down. Next up, let's take a look at the perishable items. We got some big salads right here, a Greek salad and a Caesar salad. We got a ready to eat meal, center cut ham. That looks delicious. This is frozen. It should thaw in the mini fridge, but this looks fun to, as a snack tray. This was neat. We got lemon cannolis perfect size dessert. We got another dessert here, and this is a chocolate mousse cup. 
then we got a fancy white cheese tray with the beautiful Marcona almond. Look at all that. Doesn't that look great? We got some mint. I'm going to see if I can root this. We got some green melon. Cilantro lime chicken thighs. That looks good. And in the back right here, we got some frozen guacamole. This looks beautiful. I'm going to be eating good in the neighborhood. Now for a look at the non-perishable items. I got this packaged up Ziploc bag of organic chocolate chip bars. I really like these. They're very good. We got an Amy's organic lentil soup. Parmesan cheese. That was a great find. And I was able to get two of these S. Pellegrino drinks and there's no carbohydrate in it so I think it's just um, the bubbly water. We got two regular bottles of water here and two cans of green beans. Really good items. Let's take a look at the bathroom and kitchen supplies. First we got these Eco Sheets laundry detergent. I have heard of these but I've never used them to save on plastic bottles and it says it does 60 loads so I'll let you know how that works out for me we got the two rolls of Amazon toilet paper this was a great find Dr. Bronner's Castile soap the only thing wrong with it is the top lid is missing but we'll make it work then I was able to get a native deodorant. That's what it looks like. Somebody did push the deodorant up, but I don't think any there were any swipes involved. So, but I can always scrape off the top edge if I'm concerned about it, but I think it's all right. Thank you everyone that gave me the information on the deodorants that I got last week at the food pantry. I'm not sure if I can use those deodorants because it has AHA in it, one of those serums, and I think I'm, my skin might be too sensitive for it. If I choose not to use that deodorant, I'll just redonate it back to the food pantry. For a look at the countertop perishables, we have rosemary sourdough bread. This is a full-sized loaf of bread. It's gonna be delicious. I love rosemary bread. I could have gotten more bread, but I just can't go through it quick enough. So I try to get a half loaf when possible, but this will be wonderful. Ta-da, the score of the week. It's actually opened already, but the plastic is intact. And this is called bourbon apple chicken sausage. No antibiotics ever, fully cooked. I'm gonna really enjoy that. Made by Gilbert's Craft Sausages. And the big question is, will all of this food fit in my mini fridge? Please stay tuned and we'll find out. I am so excited about all of this beautiful food. This looks packaged up pretty tightly, so I'm gonna to try to fit this in the mini fridge first. This fits in the mini fridge. We're going to repackage this. I've had these before. These are absolutely delicious. I cook them in the air fryer. Now these containers look about the same size, but I know this container fits better in the mini fridge than this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repackage. Cilantro chicken thighs. Okay, let's smell this. It smells good. Chicken is a real funny thing at the food pantry. Sometimes it's bad and you can smell it right away if it's bad. Look at these beautiful grill marks on the chicken. Doesn't that look good? 
and these blue containers are going to fit in my mini fridge a whole lot easier than these two bulkier containers. Perfect fit. We are going to make a food pantry day lunch. Look at that salad. Wow, look at these colors. Beautiful. So that's what I removed from the salad and I'm just going to add a little dressing. It came with two packs, but I'm just going to start with the one. And we're going to save this extra packet of Greek salad dressing. I'm going to put that in the mini fridge. I don't really need that much dressing, but I do like to put plenty in the salad. We're not done. Let's get this all fancied up. We're going to add some chicken. We're going to slice up this chicken. Oh, that looks good. Do you know what's next? Pepper, pepper, pepper. It's pepper time. Look at this beautiful food pantry day lunch. I've got my salad plus a piece of chicken added on top and the gorgeous black pepper. All right, let's give this salad a try. A little lettuce, a piece of chicken, and an olive. Yum! This salad is fantastic. This was my food pantry day lunch to make room in my mini fridge. And the big question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. Look at the mini fridge looking fantastic. It is stacked and packed. I even got that little snack pack on the side where you put the drinks. Everything's looking good. I got the mint right there. I got my repackaged items here. The salad and the meal, I did not have to repackage those two. It barely fit, but it fit on that top shelf. Looking good. Thank you, Food Pantry. It's trash day. Let's head on out to the dump. Mr. Turtle says hello. We're at the dump. Let's see what they got. We parked all up in the bushes. I'm going to have to walk around. I don't know what that is. anything from the dump today but they had some pretty neat stuff. Let's give this little chocolate mousse cup a try. Oh look at the price on that. This originally was $4.50. This thing is tiny. Why does it cost so much? Oh look how cute that is. That is adorable. Let's give it a try. Wow this is absolutely incredible. It very well may be worth $4.50. <laughs> It's a tiny little dessert, but this is delicious. Give the chocolate mousse a thumbs up. But really, I probably would never pay $4.50 for this, but I really appreciate the food pantry giving me the opportunity to try such a specialty dessert item. Time to make salad. Just don't know why they give me so much salad dressing. I'm just gonna pick through this and take out the parts I don't like. That's what I picked out. This is what I'm keeping. Put that in my favorite vintage bowl. Add a little bit of salad dressing. Not too much, because the salad shrank. Save this extra pack of dressing for later. I'm gonna add some of this flight cheese tray to the salad. Then and dice this up. Let me dice up this piece too. Okay, that's ready. Let's get that added. Well, I add a little fruit to it. It's pepper time! Oh, 
Well, this looks fantastic. I put the salad on a plate to pretty it up. I heat it up in the microwave, that pea and beef arancini, which I think are just stuffed rice balls. I've got some ketchup on the side. Looking good. Can't wait to give this a try. Oh, this looks so good. Let's give it a try. Look at all these colors. Salad is really good. It's not 100% fresh, but I'd say it's like 90%. Still plenty good try one of these rice balls. A little ketchup. Oh, doesn't that look good? That's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love these. Wonderful. Mm -mm -mm. Eating good in the neighborhood. Chill this overnight. Let's give the S. Pellegrino sparkling natural water a try. Mineral water. bubbly. I feel so fancy with this water. Thank you, food pantry. It's pretty good. I like it. Look at this beautiful little snack plate. I used that snack tray, the cheese tray, and the melon to get all this together. I think it looks really pretty. And I had some leftover apple that I added. Let's give this a try. Isn't that cute? Well, that's very good. Let's try the fancy cheese. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I think some cheese is an acquired taste. Let's try the other one. Square cheese tastes more like a cheddar. I like that. Let's make a meal. I'm going to use the little plate. Now, I ate half of the ham meal the other day. I think I'm going to try this one again. Looks good. The ham did come with some type of glazed sauce, but I didn't like the smell of it, so I just threw it out. Added a rice ball. The microwave! All right, let's check on this. I think we can microwave it one more minute. Let's add some guacamole. Oh, that's looking good. Never got in frozen guacamole from the food pantry, but it looks perfectly fine. It's thawed down. Look at that beautiful green color. I almost forgot. Pepper, pepper on my ham. A little bit of ketchup. Look how beautiful this plate is. This is half of the ready to eat ham meal. I've got guacamole, I've got a rice ball with some ketchup on the side. Can't wait to dig into this. Show you my little flower my man got me. That's so pretty. All right, let's get into this meal and I will tell you what it tastes like. This ham is really good. I like this. I like taking half of the meal and splitting it up into two days. That way I get to enjoy the meal twice. Let's try these sweet potatoes. It's very good. It doesn't have a lot of spice added to it. It has a very earthy flavor. And the guacamole. Oh, that tastes a little garlicky. I like that. Thank you, food pantry. Let's make breakfast. Ooh, we got some lightly toasted rosemary bread. It smells really good. I love the smell of rosemary. We've got the leftover cheese tray right here. Love guacamole. Let's get this added. A little bit of pepper on my guacamole toast. Look how beautiful and vibrant green that avocado is. Yummy. I've got some avocado toast, some type of herb cheese. We'll give that a try and my favorite Marcona almond from the cheese tray, looking beautiful. All right, let's try this avocado toast. It looks great. That is so good. I love avocado toast. Thank you, Food Pantry. 
try the herb cheese. Herb cheese was pretty good, but I'd much rather prefer the avocado toast. Oh, my dwarf daylilies are looking good. They're coming up. I'm still working on this fencing. Haven't put it up yet, but I have not forgotten. Oh, isn't this beautiful? And this is the miniature lemon cannoli. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Mm -mm. If you like lemon, this is a wonderful little dessert. It's a mini cannoli. So it's like two or three bites and that's just perfect. Turtle's gonna keep me straight on that fencing. Let's make a meal. All right, that's pretty much hitting the top of the microwave, so I hope that's okay. All right, let's check on the rice. Carefully remove pouch and let stand 30 seconds. Okay, let me show you what I do with this. I'm gonna put this in a dish. There's one little piece of rice in there. I'm gonna get it. Got it. Adding a little coconut oil to the rice. And give that a stir. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit before I put it in the fridge. I'm gonna let that sit overnight. What's the next morning? Let's go ahead and continue the rice. We're gonna scramble up a couple of eggs. All right, we're gonna do three eggs. I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna heat up a little bit of the rice, not all of it. It's good for me, that's almost half. Add a little steakhouse butter. While that's heating up, we're gonna add a little black pepper to the eggs. Rice is nice and hot, let's add it to the eggs. Fancy this up a little, we're gonna add some guacamole. If you have asked about the lavender flavored coffee, I just made a cup. It is delicious. Let's have breakfast. So here's our beautiful breakfast this morning. We've got three eggs with the overnight rice. We've got guacamole, a cup of coffee. Let's give all this a try and see what it tastes like. Ooh, look at that. It's really good. These are plain food items, but you can make it fancy, spruce it up with a little pepper, a little guacamole, whatever you like on the side. And it's a wonderful breakfast to have. Let's taste this coffee. The coffee's wonderful, love it. This is a very filling breakfast with the protein from the eggs, the carbohydrate from the rice, and the fat from the avocado, well balanced. Oh, I got dishes, let's take care of this. All done. Love to have a cleaner kitchen. It might not be super clean, but it's clean enough for me. Today's beverage is chamomile tea. Let me try this. Absolutely delicious. Well, what did you think of tonight's video? Did you have any favorite meals that I cooked or anything special that I got from the food pantry that you really liked? If you did, please let me know what it was. Thank you to all of the new viewers who chose to hit the subscribe button. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you for your continued support. There won't be a video on Friday because I've got to get some things done, but I'll be back on Tuesday for another food pantry haul video. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And happy Easter!